What memory do you recall? Are you indoors or outdoors? Indoors. Indoors, very good. Are you alone or are there others with you? Um, I'm in the house mm -hmm. with my mother. Mm -hmm. How old are you there? Um, I'm going to say I'm about seven. Mm -hmm. What's the occasion today? Just uh, every day, no special occasion. What is it that you feel from this memory? Um, what are you feeling? Where are you in uh, this house? Uh, my mom, I'm in the kitchen with my mother. All right, in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. She's doing the dishes and her back is towards me. Mm -hmm. So as you're watching this, what are you feeling? I, I just feel like it's where I've landed. Mm-hmm. So now that you've landed in this place, what would you like to tell your mom? What do you want to tell her? I just miss her. Mm-hmm. Tell her that. Tell her to turn around and talk to you. Mom, I miss you. I don't think she can hear me. Well, let's call her. I'm going to touch your forehead in a moment. When I do, your mom will hear you. One, two, and three. Mom, your daughter says she misses you. What do you want to tell her today? She doesn't think you could hear her. Can you hear her, Mom? What do you want to tell your daughter? What words of wisdom? She's listening. Colleen says she misses you. Can you hear me, Mom? Take a deep breath in and be Mom. Mom? Mm-hmm. Mom, what do you want to tell your daughter today? Hello. Mm-hmm. Hi, Callie. What do you want to tell her? She's been looking at you washing the dishes there, wondering if... I didn't see you. Mm-hmm. Take a deep breath in. Colleen, what do you want to tell your mom? Tell her what you feel. Mom, I didn't I didn't think that you I I thought you were mad at me. I thought you were mad at me. Take a deep breath in. Mom, are you mad at her? I'm not mad at you. Mm -hmm. Tell her the truth, Mom. <laughs> I 
I know you thought I was mad at you, but I'm not mad at you. I love you. Tell her, have you been, Mom? Well, things aren't always what you think they are. But I love you very much. Tell her the truth. Tell her how things really are, Mom. Things are very different here. But I love you very much. Take a deep breath in, Colleen. What do you say back to Mom? I knew that. I just needed you to say that. I needed to hear that. I needed to hear that very much. Mm -hmm. What do you want to tell your mom now that you've heard that? I know you're around and I know you love me. I just needed to hear that. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mom. Take a deep breath in, Mom. Is there anything you'd like to tell Colleen today? I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. We're all proud of you. Who else is there with you, Mom? Poppy's here. Grandma's here. And we're all watching. Mom, she went through a lot while you were gone. She went through a lot of hard time. Were you helping her during this time? Yes. Tell her how you helped her. Everything you thought I was doing, I was doing. Everything you needed to happen, I was helping to happen. So, Mom, what does she need to do now to move forward from this? Just keep doing what you're doing. And keep loving. Keep loving those kids. Keep being a good mom. Being such a good mom. Mom, is there anybody else there from the other side that has been assisting her? Poppy's here. Mm -hmm. What does he have to say? Does Poppy have anything to say? He keeps coming through whenever he can, mm -hmm. as you know. And he's everywhere with you. And he's very proud, too. Mm -hmm. What keeps him from coming in clearer? comes in pretty clear. He does. Very mm -hmm. good. Very good. Now, Mom, she had a question about an experience. There was a sense of dark entity in her bedroom. Were you there for that? No. No. And she also had a dream about a swirling flash of light in the desert. Do you know anything about that? No. No. Very good. So, Mom, when you are with Colleen, you're in a different place, aren't you? Yes. Would you tell her what you do in your days? What kind of things do you do?
I do a lot of gardening. Mm -hmm. And I watch over her sister. Mm -hmm. And mom, why is it that you had to leave so early? You were so young. It was my time to go. Mm -hmm. Had you finished what you came here to do? Yes. Okay, very good. Is there anything else that you would like to tell your daughter at this time? You have important things to do. Keep, keep doing what you're doing. Very good. Take a deep breath in, Colleen. Anything you'd like to say to your mom? I love you, Mama. Thank you for everything you did. Very good. Take a deep breath in. Let's disconnect from mom. And I'd like for you to see yourself in that experience of that night. You sense that entity in your bedroom. I'm going to count from five to one and be in that moment. Five, going back in time now. Four, to that bedroom. Three, two, and one. Be there now. Tell me what you see. I'm in my bedroom. Mm -hmm. I want you to totally acclimate yourself to that time and space mm. and see your bedroom through the spiritual eyes. Removing the veil and seeing clearly into that space. Tell me what you see. there yeah there's it's not a good it's a there's a dark energy mm -hmm. in that room it's just it's like a swirling mm -hmm. type of um, negative energy mm -hmm. to one side and there's a light uh, there's a light positive energy to the other side of the room. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's focus first on that positive light. And I want you now to request telepathically with that light to identify itself. What is that light? Who is that? Trust your first impression. Do you get a name? What do you feel? That's my guardian angel to the to the left hand side of me. I'm laying in my bed. All right. So now let's find out what that darkness is. I'm going to count from one to three. When I get the number three, I'll tap your forehead and we'll address that dark entity. One, two, and three. You there in the corner, who are you? Identify yourself now. Who are you? <laughs> it, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a demon. In All right. Sense. Well, demon is just a word. It's just a category. I want you to... I, 
to address me and tell me who you are. What is your name? What do you go by? You know there are rules in the spiritual world. When one asks a question, the other one must reply. What name do you go by, please? He won't give his name. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you're doing there, then. He's waiting for me to die. Oh. That's a silly thing to do, isn't it? Waiting for her to die. What are you planning to do with her? when she dies. <laughs> what do you plan to do with her? Is she your prize? Mm-hmm. Ah. Well, it seems to me you haven't gotten her prize yet. What do you feel about that? What do you get when you get this prize? I'm a, I'm exceptionally um, prize worthy mm -hmm. because I've um, I've already come into the light and turned away from the light mm -hmm. and that's very prize worthy. Mm -hmm. Well, it seems to me that this one in the corner must be waiting for your light. Is that not the truth? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And let's find out why this little guy needs your light. Why is he feeding off of your light? Why does he need your light? He must answer. That's what they all do. Mm -hmm. Well, today we're going to be doing something different. Today we're going to be reminding this little fellow of who he or she is. Is it a male or female? Male. Male. Very good. So today we're going to be reminding this little one of the light within. Let me speak with him now. One, two, and three. What is your name, please? What do you go by? Malice. What is it? Malice. Malice. Is that your name, Malice? <laughs> Malice, how old are you? I'm old. You're old. How old is old? I'm thousands of years old. Thousands of years old. Malice, why is it that you need to wait for this woman to die? What is it that you want from her? I'm here to usher her in. To usher her in where? Into the darkness. Into the darkness. And why do you need to usher her into the darkness? Has she made a contract with you to be there? To have her ushered? We don't want her here on the earth. Why don't you want her here on the earth? We don't want her. We don't want her to continue here. Mm -hmm. Why is that? What does she do to the earth? Is she causing trouble? We don't. We don't want her here mm -hmm. because we, we don't want her here for later. For later, what's happening later? What's going on later? You make it sound like there's a party there. Well, we don't 
we don't need to have her here later because we don't we don't want her to we don't want her there to mess things up. We don't have to tell you. Oh, I know you don't have to tell me, but I'm asking you, which means you have to tell me. Malice. What is it about this woman that she has that you don't like? What's so special about her? Yes, well. What's so special about yeah, her? She brings light and she helps people and we don't need that. Uh-huh. And who's we? Who is the we that we're talking about, Malice? Are they more than you? I don't have to tell you. Yes, you do. When I ask you a question, you must tell me. That's part of the spiritual law. Mm. You know this. What is it that you need from her, and how many are with her? How many? There's many. Many. She must be very important to have such an entourage. Well. Why would you need so many for one? What is it about this soul that is so important, that is so bright, that you need to tame it? What is it, Malice, about her? What is it about her light that threatens you? We like addiction because it takes out so many. Mm. And she tries to help those. Ah, and we I see. can't have that. Oh, and what is it about addiction that does to people? It's evil. It's evil. And we use it. Ah, well, evil is just a description, it's just a word. Well, I know. What do you do when someone is addicted? one of our tools. Ah. So when someone is addicted, what do you do to them? Well, it traps them. Mm -hmm. And then what do you do? What do you do with them once you have them trapped? They suffer. They suffer. And by suffering, what does it do to you? How does their suffering help you? Well, we control them. Uh-huh. So it's all about power. Mm -hmm. And when you control someone, what does that do for you? What do you get from them? Well, we take their soul. Ah. Like we can take hers. Mm -hmm. but well, you haven't yet, have you? Well, almost. It seems to me, Malice... It's something. If you need to take somebody's soul, it's something that you're missing inside of yourself. It's something that is missing inside of you. Because if you're looking for power, it means that you don't feel that you have power. That you're missing the power. Why would you need to take it from someone else if you had it yourself? Are you envying this woman for having light? For having power? Is that why you want to control her? Maybe. Mm, it seems to me it's more like jealousy. Mm. Malice, would you be surprised if I told you that you already have that power? That you don't need to take anything from her? Would you be surprised if I showed you that what you've been taking from her in addiction you already had? You see, Malice, by working with the dark, you've forgotten something. For all these thousands of years, you've forgotten who you were. You have been stuck in a place, 
and forgotten that you are from the light yourself. Do you remember when you were from the light? No. You were. Everything came from the light. And within you there is a spark of light. It's there. And it always reminds you that you came from the light. Find it, Malice. It's there. Find that light and tell me when you see it. You can't deny it. It's there. Make that light brighter now, Malice. You know it's there. Expand it out. What does it feel like? I can't. Sure you can. It's there. You have always been connected to it. You've just turned a blind eye towards it. It's there. It may be a tiny, tiny spark from so many generations of people you've tried to empower, take their power from it. It's always there. Find that light. Look for it, Malice. It's there. It's there. I think I see it. Well, now, now make it bigger. I'd, oh, I can't do it. I'll get in trouble. Ah, because they've been giving you lies. They've trapped you, Malice, with lies. They've lied to you. They've told you you're something else. They told you that you were from the dark and you're not. All of them have been lied to. They don't remember. Make it bigger. Make it bigger and you'll feel it. Feel it. Make it big. How does it feel? Wow. Make it huge. See yourself exploding in light. Whoa. Make yourself as big as a star. Malice, how big? Wow. Wow. What does that feel like? Feel the love. Feel the love of your creator. It's never been out of you. It's always been there for you. It's always been waiting for you to remember who you are. It's always been there. Is this what you were looking for, Malice? Connect with that love. Connect with your source. You cannot be getting into trouble now. You have the love of your creator. What does that feel like? Wow. Talk to me, Malice. <clears throat> it's very different. Mm-hmm. How does it feel? I don't remember, but I'm starting to remember. Mm-hmm. Remember. Remember who you are. And as you shine bright and remember, look at all of those around you. 
shine your light on them so they can feel it too. Shine your light on those. Find them all, Malice. Tell them what it's like to feel that love. Tell them to also find their light. Tell me what's happening. What happens, Malice? Mm-hmm. You're alone? Mm-hmm. Where are the others? Everybody's afraid. Mm-hmm. Shine your light on them. Shine your beautiful light so they remember too. Tell them what it feels like. Tell them they're not going to get into trouble. They're afraid and you are empowered with love. Shine your light on them. How many are there, Malik? Come on, guys, come on. Come on. Come on. Shine it brighter, shine it brighter. You can be the leader. You can be the one to lead them all. What do they tell you? No. What are they afraid of? They're afraid. Tell them that once they find the light, there is no fear. There's only two. Tell them. There's only two. Mm-hmm. I'm going. I'm going. Come on. That's it. Come on, I'm going. Shine your light on them. Bring them with you. Don't leave them there. You know you'll feel better if they come with you. Don't leave them there. Don't leave them in the dark. I'm not. They're your friends, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Bring them with you. Come on, guys. Shine your light in them. Make them feel that love. Make them feel it. What do they say? Come on, they're coming. Very I good. I just have two, but they're coming. Mm-hmm. They're coming. Very good. Very good. Malice, what's happened to the other ones? They're, they're cowards. Mm-hmm. We're not going to do it, but we're good. We got two. All right. Come on. Take them with you. Tell me when you get there. I want you to go straight to that light, straight back to source, and report back to me, Malice, and tell me what you're, what you're told once you return to the light. Tell me what's happening. Go by ourselves, just go. Can we just go? Come on. Malice, I'm gonna call someone to help you. I'm gonna call Archangel Michael. Allow him to direct you. What does he say?
What does he tell you? This motion to go. Very good. So I'd like the angels of the white light to be, please surround these three and escort them straight back to source, back to the origin of that love within them. Thank you. May the light of the universe mm -hmm. always accompany you. Thank you. And now I'd like Archangel Raphael to come in. And I'd like for you to go ahead and send your beautiful light in through this woman's body and shine it throughout the room. And I'd like the entire team of the warrior angels to begin working throughout this room to make sure they're all of these cowards that did not go, that they're rounded up. Tell me what happens once they do. What do they do? They just, they just go. Very good. Very good. So now we could connect with that angel that was there always protecting you. Connect now telepathically with that angel. Is that angel male or female? Male. Mm-hmm. What is he, what is his name? Does he go by a name? Gabriel. Gabriel. What was Gabriel doing? Protecting you from malice? I, just, I guess I just had to be here. Mm -hmm. Just seeing that I that I was here. Mm -hmm. Very good. Is Gabriel the one that protected you from malice? Yes. Very good. What else has Gabriel done to help you throughout your life? Ask him. Um... Uh, he saved me from falling mm -hmm. one time, saved me from drowning one time. Mm -hmm. um, saved me f from a car accident. Mm -hmm. oh, man. He's been very busy, yes, hasn't he? he? Yes. What else is he showing you? Um, <laughs> There's been many, many traffic accidents. Mm -hmm. um, what else? <clears throat> Let's ask Gabriel if he goes with you when you dream. Um, Is he the one that goes with you in your dreams? I have a... Uh, I have a spirit guide that goes with me when I dream. Mm-hmm. Well, Gabriel, allow you now to connect with that spirit guide so that we could ask that spirit guide about your dreams. 
allow that spirit guide to step forward. Who is a spirit guide? Is it male or female? Male. Male. What name does he go by? Art. Art. Very good. So let's ask Art about a dream that you had last June about the event. I'd like to ask Art to go ahead and take you back to this dream. I'm going to count from three back to one and allow yourself to be there with Art. Three, going back in time and space that dream. Two and one. Be there now. Look around you and tell me what you see. Oh, mountains. Mountains. Mm-hmm. And road. Mm-hmm. Um, I see a light in the sky. I see a light in the sky. Tell me about this light. It turns around and around in a circular motion. Mm -hmm. And it makes no noise, but somehow I know that it is connected to Mother Mary mm -hmm. and I just know this I I just mm -hmm. connect to that and um, it tells me that um, there's all love that goes to all corners of the earth and that um, Did you say love goes to the corners? All lo yes. All, all love goes Love to goes to all corners of the earth mm -hmm. and that everyone's affected by this mm -hmm. and that um, I'm driving a car as I see this mm -hmm. through the windshield and then I pull over to the side of the road and uh, What happens next? Um, and it and somehow I just am told to find a place of your own. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what that means, but it it's telling me find a place of your own. All right. So we're going to find that place now. I'm going to put my hand or my finger over your third eye and we're going to activate that knowing and as you focus on that you'll know what this place is this place of your own allow the knowing to come a place of your own what comes to you What's the first thing that comes into your mind's eye? What kind of a place of your own? Is this a physical place? The 
first thing that I think of is, uh, if I think of a place of my own, is it's whatever Mm -hmm. Keep going. Allow it to flow. Allow that. It's whatever flow. is in Keep talking. The more you talk, the more I'll see it. The more you'll know. Whatever is how I look at mm. However, I see it. Um, Describe this to Colleen. Tell Colleen what the place of your own means. Give her this advice. What does this place mean? A place of your own. Why have you given her this information? What does this have to do with? Is it a physical place or a knowing? It's a knowing. Mm -hmm. It's not a physical place. Mm -hmm. It's it's a state of mind. Uh huh. So tell her what the state state of mind is that she needs to be in when this happens. When this love comes through, what is the state of mind that is a place of her own? It's, um, it'll be her own individual state of mind. Very good. So it's this, when this love spreads to all corners of the earth, she will have her own unique individual knowing of yes. this event? Okay. Yes, as a, as with everyone else, mm -hmm. we'll have their own individual. So she, if she describes it, it's going to be totally different than when somebody else receives. Is that it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. As as will probably everyone else will have their own interpretation. Mm -hmm. So is this what the important thing about this event is? Is that it's going to be unique to each one? Yes. Mm -hmm. Good. Is there anything else she needs to know about this event? When it will happen? How it will happen? Um, it's not so as important that when and how is that it's that it's already happening, mm -hmm. but it's just everyone has it happen in their own time mm -hmm. and that it it doesn't matter how that it's happening is yes. that it's just so individual to everyone that mm -hmm. that's not really the important part of it it's yes. just that it happens in everyone's own time and that it's not really a race it's just that everyone gets through it at, at their own pace and that we all do it together good so one maybe have already experienced this love mm -hmm. and is affected by by it, whereas others are not. Yes. And it's not up to us to tell them how the experience will be. Yes. Very good. Thank mm -hmm. you very much. Mm -hmm. Now she says that this year felt almost like she was between two dimensions, very internalized, and she received a telepathic message saying that it would be chaotic, but it would be needed when the veil dropped. She felt that this raised in vibration for about two days. What was happening on January 2nd with her? Um, she had heard so much about the talk of the earth changes and earth energies that were coming in 
so many different takes on it mm -hmm. and different informations coming in and she was um inundated by information and that um was almost getting to the point where she was starting to even even though she was believing that she was a part of this and she actually is a part of this as a lot of us are mm -hmm. um, was starting to almost become skeptical to the fact that is this really happening am i imagining things uh that when this did occur uh in her workplace and that she actually had these high high vibrations that were coming in mm -hmm. and she had this experience this was a communication to, uh of great frequency coming in mm -hmm. to her this actually happened mm -hmm. um, it was a confirmation to her that she was on the right path these things that that she was listening to uh, that sh these these actual um, intuitive things that she was thinking were actually happening and were a confirmation to her that to keep going mm -hmm. um, you, things were starting to happen and were getting quite close um, don't give up hope keep going mm -hmm. um, and it was quite startling to her that uh, Although it was it was startling to keep going with what path you were on, and that you were indeed going to be helpful when um, things uh, were going to get a bit chaotic, that you were going to be um, helpful. To others mm hmm now this chaotic message mm -hmm. where was that coming from was that coming from the uh, angelic realm from her people or was it from the dark oh uh, no that was from a positive okay entity okay good good anything else you'd like to tell her about that or do you think that's all she needs at this time uh, that's all that was giving mm -hmm. given at the time um, and she at, at that experience she wanted more information but that's not that was not to be given at that point okay what about now has she is she ready to receive any more information now she she wishes to receive more information mm -hmm. um, uh, she will re receive more information um, within sometime this summer, but that's more will be revealed. Okay. How is she going to be receiving this information? Because she's been receiving information in dreams, mm -hmm. and she's also um, been, you know, wanting to open up her third eye for more information. How is she going to receive the rest of this information? Um, that will be coming in another download. Soon. Okay, very good. Now she tells me that she had a dream about a boy angel, Daniel, who showed her the book of life. And it was all in angelic script. The book was holographic. What was the meaning of this dream? Was she actually there?
Yeah. Um, she has a connection with Daniel. Mm-hmm. And um, he... When she receives more intuitive uh, information, Mm -hmm. she will see holograms. Mm. Um, And when she saw the holographic book, that had the angelic script in it, that, that was the book was holographic. And that was, um, that's why she saw the holographic book. Was this her book? This book of life? Uh, what was that book? That's actually Daniel's book. Okay. But, uh, that was... That was a play on his book, but it was holographic. But she will see holographic. And she also saw a um, a clear aura around him mm-hmm. in the dream. Very good. So now that we're able to, to connect with this realm that she's in, I'd like for you now to take her to that book of her own life to find out why it is that she picked the life that she did here. Would you please take her now to the book of her own life so that she could see why she had to go through the challenges of this one? Tell me when you see the book. The particular challenge that she has chosen has has um, been difficult, mm-hmm. and the particular uh, difficulties. Um, For her spiritual growth, we're through um, the addictive nature, um, and she had to she had to pick this this path because the custody of her children, she would not have ever have moved through this path to have gotten sober because her children were everything she would have she would have died before she would have let um, go of custody and the amount of time that passed for her to have remained sober of the 14 years um, was something that it was more or less the children were the carrot at the end of the the stick, so mm-hmm. to speak. And that was enough time to pass for her to get a good rooted uh, footing for her recovery. Mm-hmm. And so uh, she she had that to um for the for the amount of time for her spiritual growth and in comparison to the sober time and um that's what really prolonged this whole adventure for her to to uh, progress into that and uh the love of those children um created that kind of bond for the, for this whole mixture of 
uh, spiritual growth and um, really these these children have been a catalyst in her spiritual growth um, and that was really the only way that that could have really happened because it, it it was the it was the perfect formula really for her to have progressed the way it, this whole story mm -hmm. transpired okay so that's that's how this this whole thing happened mm -hmm. to you know to to try to make it simple um that was 14 years of, of that and then she had the the relapse and then six years more has gone by and it's been the the strongest six years she's ever had which has evolved into the um you know the reiki and then all the other um uh modes of uh, uh healing and mm -hmm. and things that have transpired since then so um so we understand now that she came into this life already knowing mm -hmm. that she would have to go through these addictive mm -hmm. challenges yeah but we also came across malice mm -hmm. the little guy who wanted to kill her mm -hmm. by agreeing to come into this life and really face these addictions did she open herself up to more malice to more of those who would use her for yes. her addiction yes mm -hmm. so are any of those still hanging around let's take a look mm -hmm. do a scan of her body and let's see if there are any others that are still influencing her now her body should be completely white and light. There should be no shadows, no movement in her body. Do we see any that are still there wanting to take that drink? Hold it on your body and see if there's anything in your body that shouldn't be there. I'm going to do a sweep with my hand and say, see if there's any energy that comes up. Any energy at all. As I bring the energy up. If there's somebody there, you can speak now. Anybody there attached? to Colleen. How does her body look? Does someone want to speak with me today? there hmm. are you male or female you don't seem to be very open to talking with me today have I bothered you what I what is the reluctance to talk with me today are you male or female You know we're here to help you today. Are you male or female? There's a law in the universe 
that when I ask a spirit a question, you must respond. You know that law. Who are you? Hmm, isn't good enough. What can I call you? All right, let's mud in my neck. Mm-hmm. What is your name, please? Nancy. Nancy. How old are you, Nancy? Seven. Seven. What year is it for you, Nancy? Seventy-two. Mm -hmm. What happened to you, Nancy? What happened to your body? I broke my neck. You broke your neck. What were you doing when you broke your neck? Car accident. Mm -hmm. And what happened after you broke your neck? Where did you go? Mm, just hair. Mm -hmm. You got lost, Nancy? Yeah. Yeah, and how did you find? This very wonderful woman, this soul. How did you find her? How old was she? Mm. She was strong. Mm -hmm. That make it easy for you to attach to her? Yeah. And what did you do to her? Well, I just kind of Give her neck aches, and mm -hmm. she's got to crack her neck all the time. Mm -hmm. Does your neck still hurt, Nancy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nancy, why didn't you go home to the light? Were you scared? Yeah, I didn't expect to die. Mm -hmm. Well, Nancy, you really didn't die. I'm speaking to you. Only that body died. Yeah. Just like that vehicle you were in had a crash, so did your body. But Nancy, you could have gone straight home. Would you like to go home now? Yeah. All right, so Nancy, inside of your little body, there is a light there. Find that light and expand it. and You'll see what home feels like. How does that home feel? Good. Mm -hmm. This is your beacon to take you home, Nancy. Go ahead and begin removing yourself from her body. And I'd like for you to go up through the top of her head right here. Completely remove yourself from her. And tell me how you feel now that you have that light within you. Good. Good. What would you like to tell Colleen about what you've done to her all this time? I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Take a deep breath in. Colleen, do you forgive Nancy for not knowing any better? Yes. Very good. Take a deep breath in. Nancy, I'm going to have you contact Archangel Michael, who is right there, just waiting for you. Take a look around. You'll see him. Make contact with him. Tell me what he tells you. Show me the way. Very good. So go with him, Nancy. He's going to straight take you straight home. Home to Source. And tell me when you get there if there's anybody there you know. There's my mom. What did your mom tell you? She said, hi, Emily. Very good. Now, Nancy, before you go, were there any other entities attached to Colleen's body? Mm. Or were you the only one? The only one I saw. Very good. Nancy, may the light of the universe always accompany you. Thank you very much. Thanks.
Thank you. Disconnect, please. And now, I'd like to ask more questions about the experiences that she's had. She wants to know about her superpowers. I know that she's been learning different modalities. What other things is she good at? What did she come here with? She is very patient. Mm -hmm. She is very compassionate. Um, she loves to draw out um, self confidence mm -hmm. and um, uh, Just um, she wants people to know that they have so much potential and um, that they have superpowers within mm -hmm. them. So she pretty much shines the light on them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that why Malice wanted? Her yeah. God. Mm. Yeah. Good. Yeah, he's going to stop that. Mm, he's gone now to the light, isn't he? Yeah. So now that she understands that this is one of her superpowers, why is it that she was not able to deal with the ADHD and depression? Yeah. What was keeping her from that? What was making her so sad? Um... Are there any outside influences that are confusing her? Well, that is part of the, that's part of the plan to keep her down. Mm -hmm. um, Who's planning to keep her down? Um, Was she in on this plan? Or is it being sabotaged by others? Yeah, it's being sabotaged. Uh -huh. uh, so who's sabotaging this? Let's shine a light on who they are. Yeah. Who are they? That's got to come out. Mm -hmm. Who are they? Uh, are they from here or somewhere else? It's, it's a power that's trying to sabotage the incoming... Uh, I gotta say it. Ow. Mm -hmm. It doesn't want me to say it. Go ahead and say mm. it. Go ahead and say it. It's it's the same kind of stuff that's um, <laughs> Where is this? A where is this power that's controlling her right now? Yeah, it's trying to stop me from saying it now. All but, right, so I'm going to call oh. forward. I'm going to call forward Saint Germain. I want you to go ahead and shoot over her that per <laughs> beautiful purple flame, that violet flame. Oh. Throw it over her and protect her. <laughs> go ahead and throw that violet flame all over her. Let's take all of this that's trying to keep her from saying it, from burning away in that violet <laughs> flame. See it burning away. <sighs> Doesn't want anybody to rise up. Doesn't uh -huh. want anybody to... Uh-huh. <sighs> Encapsulate yourself in that purple flame. Empower yourself in that purple flame. Anything trying to control you, burn it off with that purple flame. 
Do it now. It has no power over you. It has no power over you. This is a free will planet. Colleen has the free will to say what she needs to say, to speak her truth. Speak your truth now. What is keeping her in this state? At this time, mm -hmm. there are forces that do not want us to ascend. Mm -hmm. And I can't tell you exactly what they are, but it's stuff like malice is mm -hmm. doing. Well, we now understand that malice did not remember who he was. Mm -hmm. So all of these that are trying to keep you mm -hmm. from the light already have light within them. Right. So what I want you to do is I want you to begin using that superpower that you have. And I want you to bring in that very strong beam of white light from source directly. Bring it in through the crown of your head. And I want you to shoot that beam out from your heart. And I want you to begin to connect, make a grid all around the planet to all of the other light workers. And as they bring in that white light, connect your hearts now. Make a net, a grid of all of those. And I'd like for you now to extend that beam down into Gaia, planting yourself straight into her heart, that golden light Seal yourself into her heart as you extend that light out. Make a grid. And as you are reinforced with all of those that are also connected to you, I'd like for you now to look at those that are in the dark and see how this grid affects them. How does that grid affect them now? Lighter. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you now to extend that grid out even more. Connect with all of the hearts of all those light workers and extend that grid even more. And as that light connects with the spark of this darkness, you will affect them and remind them of who they are. Bring in to that light, joy and love. Magnify it out even more. And now allow that heaviness from your body to release. Release it out through your heart. And tell me what you envision or feel. can see is the planet has a big beaming white grid around it. It mm -hmm. is just like a crystal of rainbow light around it. Mm -hmm. I 
And it's lighter and it's brighter than it's ever been before. Beautiful. And the more you do this, the more you help. So I'd like for you to scan your body now and see if there's any sadness left in that body as you connect with Gaia and Source. Is there any place where that sadness hides? Or has it been flooded out by the light? No, it's good. Mm -hmm. Very good. So now, as you revisit the one that was trying to control you, what do you imagine now? Where are they now? <laughs> They're nowhere near me now. Beautiful. Yeah. Very good. Very good. So now that we've used the power that this soul brings with her and is able to unite with all of those around the globe, would reconnective healing be something that she could take up? Or something else with energy work that could, she can use, that she can see people with her mobile home, her mobile vehicle. Do you see her doing something like this? Yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. Very good. Is she associated with the Arcturian? Someone told her that she was. Yes. Yes. Is there anything you'd like to tell her about that? Anything else? Yes, they're watching over you. Mm -hmm. What does she need to know? No, that's all for now. That's good. Very good. Would you tell her now about how can she tell the story about this contract that she made? She wants to channel her book. She wants to have a guide that will help her write this book. What do you think? In the months ahead, you will have you will have the solution to this. Just keep your eyes open and your ears open, and it and it will be resolved. Okay, good. It'll just come to her then. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So I'd like to ask now for Raphael, the archangel, to step forward and go ahead and flood her with your beautiful green healing light. From her toes up to her head, filling her completely with that beautiful light. And I'd like to ask on her behalf for the non-physical physicians to work on her each evening to keep improving her health, reminding her of what she needs to eat, what she needs to eat more of and less of, and what kind of waters to drink and exercise to do to keep her in the fittest shape so that she can continue to beam out that beautiful grid and be connected and keep all of that darkness far from the planet. And I'd like to ask if there's any other question that I did not ask that you would like to tell her now. Any way that she can communicate more with those that need to communicate with her? I think we're good. Very good. Thank you very much. Welcome back. 
Wowie. Wowie is right. Oof. Wow. What a man, you never know how these things are gonna go, <laughs> do ya? Nope. Holy crap. Oh, let's switch out those shungi the the, the selenite for shungi. Let's get you grounded here. Oof. You did fantastic work. Wow. How do you feel? That was crazy. Relax. Mm. It was pretty good. Pretty good. So what do you think about all this? Oh, oh. Did you expect this? No. No. Well, I never expected <laughs> that weird power to come over me mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. What did that look? I guess I, I will see that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think of that? Mm. No, you've seen some shit. <laughs> it's part of a day. <laughs> <laughs> the freakiest one I ever saw was the woman mm -hmm. um, that um, <laughs> she was like doing the shaky thing and yeah. she was vomiting and stuff. Yeah, yeah. That was Nellis, yeah. But wow, what yeah, you, Nellis. How, how long were you? Do you think you were on this journey? How did it feel? Like an hour. Yeah, we're right now at an hour and 55 minutes. What? <laughs> yeah, you get that all the time too, yeah. don't you? Yeah. We did a lot of work, my dear. We got a lot done. Wow. Yeah. I never in my wildest dreams ever thought that the, the thing in the corner would be set free. How great was that? Well, I didn't want you calling a little demon either. Yeah. You don't call them, you don't give them names because that's what's... That makes me feel so good because yeah. I hated that thing for the longest time. Well, now? I thought, you son of a gun, I'm going to tell everything about you. you I'm see? Gonna, my friend Jim is just going <laughs> to crap his pants because he, he just thought that story was... Everybody in AA knew about that story and they were like, oh, what? Yeah. And now you understand. We are all one. We yep. all came from Creator, which means we all deserve that love and respect. And we all need to and help each like, other. like, guys... No. Mm -hmm. Come on, guys. It's like, no. Uh -huh. We're not going. Like, we're all going to get fired. <laughs> they were we're all, not going. Yeah, they were all afraid of getting in trouble. Yeah. Yeah. But when they re realized, you know, that he wasn't, it was... A couple of them are like, forget it. We're going. We're in. Yeah. Yeah. So now you understand. Did you? What did you think of that uh, grid that you created? Isn't that beautiful? Wow. Isn't that nice? And the thing with my mother, I needed that so bad, Alba. Because mm -hmm. before she went into her, because the second time she got cancer, mm -hmm. it went into her liver and then that was it. Mm -hmm. And then we, we watched her die in a hepatic coma. And we all went in one by one and got to say goodbye. And, you know, when you have hepatic cancer, you're just, you're kind of loony because yeah. it doesn't filter out your brain and all that. Mm -hmm. and, she just looked at me and she goes, you take care of yourself. Like, like I'm going to go to the store and I'll be back. Oh, she, she's going to her garden, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Finding. So and, is this something that you want to share, taking out the personal stuff or what? Sure, if you can. I mean, yeah, sure. <laughs> that was great, wasn't it? Yeah. So did you expect anything like this? No. No. What did you expect? I know you had expectations. <laughs> Um, I, I really, I really didn't have expectations because they tell you not to have Good. expectations. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So why did you come here? What were you looking for? Um, I guess I was looking for all the weird answers to my mm -hmm. weird questions, mm -hmm. like you know, the weird dream things yeah. that I had. And, um, that was important, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 Um, but, uh, you know, I just didn't know really what to expect because I binge watch you <laughs> and, and people just don't really know what to expect because yeah. they They're have all different. those. Yes. It's all, yes. Every single session is completely different. And, and in this one, I think the main thing was about malice. Malice had yeah. been there trying to to get her down and you have you've gone through a lot with addiction mm -hmm. So tell everybody what was gripping you throughout your life? 
Oh, well, um, I was in, basically, I've been in a 12-step program for mm -hmm. 21 years, uh, and I've been in, um, I've been in, uh, like, custody battle, like, mm -hmm. for, through the 90s and most of the 2000s, and, um, uh, it, it's not fun because yeah. court really it peels years off your life and um, you know um, it's hard to be in recovery at times and um, that is a real spiritual uplift mm. you find your spiritual legs right. yeah. and um, when you do that everything changes your whole world looks differently and you um, and today we saw that part of the um, the planning was really for Colleen to go through this. Mm -hmm. I mean, even coming into this life, she knew she was going to go into this. And now understanding mm -hmm. this, mm -hmm. do you realize how it's built your muscles? Yeah. How it's made you the, the person that you I've are been, now? And I've been planning for Ascension for basically <laughs> 24 years. Yes. You know, yes. and... Um, yeah, and now I see it. Yeah. I see it all in the rearview mirror, and mm -hmm. it's like now here it is, and it's like, oh, is that why? So, but, what would you tell other people who are now in the same situation that you were before? That you were struggling with alcohol, you were struggling with addictions, that you were struggling with custody battles of your children. What would you mm -hmm. tell other people mm -hmm. who are going through that? Oh man, it, you just you just never give up. Mm -hmm. You never give up on anything. And you don't give up on yourself, yeah. and um, that is that is a big thing. Mm -hmm. And even because you know what, things in your head will tell you that's it. You know, yeah. you throw in the towel, this and that. Things in the corner will tell you, you know what, you're not worth it. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's the point <laughs> of this whole thing. Is yes. that that's what it's like the the devil and the angel. Yes. That's kind of the whole spiritual uh, warfare thing going yeah. on in the world today, mm -hmm. and um, that's that's and that, what I it's believe, all about. I believe because you're so powerful, they want that from you. Yeah, they want your power. So that's what you have to realize. They wouldn't want you if you weren't that powerful. That's right. Right. So if you're struggling with any addiction, if you're struggling through really hard things, that's because you're so powerful. You're being you're being tested to see if you're going to check out or not. Mm -hmm. And we need everybody right now to be in their power, to be loving, to be kind, to yes. really get out there and empathize with other people, understand them, and uh, don't judge them for what they're going through. Both Colleen and I have something very similar. We both went through experiences we didn't want in this life, but both of us are really a lot stronger because of it. Yeah. And I wouldn't be able to do the work that I am doing now without having gone through such, such struggles. Mm -hmm. And um, I would never have lived my life without it. This has been really what has made me who I am now. People yeah. say, you're unfallible when you're confronted with this stuff. That's because I've been through it in real life. And I've gone yeah. through it and I've survived it. and it really it made me stronger. It was the boot camp of my life. And if you're going through any struggles right now, understand that this is just a storm. Storms pass. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna, the sun's gonna come out, it's gonna be great. So yeah. keep in there, keep that light going. That's spiritual boot camp. That's right. And that's why the thing in the corner wants you so bad because mm -hmm. you're powerful. You're powerful. Yes. And it and it'll it'll put you through the the trials of your life because you are very special. Mm -hmm. That's you're right. Very special. That's right. Mm -hmm. So do you recommend this little journey for people? Oh yes. <laughs> I got lost in traffic for an hour and fifteen minutes, and I was only five minutes down the street. I kept going around and around. And right now we are in Boston. <laughs> and where are you coming from? Uh, Corning, New York, but my daughter's living in Rhode Island, so I did like a hopscotch to get here, <laughs> and it was worth it. Yeah, it was good. This oh, was good she's session. so worth it. Oh. She's a doll. It's little, it's little Elba. <laughs> <laughs> so if you would like a session with me, 
just go to my website, albawyman.com. On the out of town page, on the bottom of the page, you're going to see a link to subscribe to my newsletter. Once a month, it comes out approximately, and you will be told where I'm going to have sessions next. It could be in Miami, where I live, or it could be anywhere in the world. Right now, we happen to be in Boston, but I'm moving, I move fast. So if you're seeing this video, Right now, I am no longer in Boston. I have moved on. So uh, I'm probably on another trip somewhere in the middle of the country. So I really uh, would like to thank you for watching this video, and I hope I get to meet you sometime soon. Okay, bye. Now I get that hug. <laughs>